Nama Narayan Courageous Yogis. In this guided meditation, you will be experiencing the potential of Yoga Nidra as an educational medium. Because learning is enhanced when there is concentration. And concentration is enhanced when there is relaxation, such as during Yoga Nidra. Therefore, this is a very different style of Yoga Nidra than we have done before on this channel, where you will be presented with more information than usual. Now, it's very important that you try not to memorize or overanalyze anything. Because the 12 constellations are universal archetypal principles, there in the collective consciousness of mankind, you don't need to memorize. If you can remain aware and alert throughout the whole session, you will best be able to absorb, understand, and retain the subject matter. This is the beginning of a whole new series of Yoga Nidra for Learning that we will be exploring together on this channel. If you want to empower me to continue this work, please become a patron by following the link in this video's description. If you want to learn more about Vedic Astrology, we are starting a whole new series of 12-week live online courses on Vedic Astrology at tripurayoga.org. Now, take this time to lie down on your back in Shavasana and prepare for Yoga Nidra. Surrender your body to the surface beneath you and the force of gravity. Feel all the various points of contact between your body and the surface beneath you. Becoming aware to the heaviness of the body. Your body is so heavy, it feels as though it were sinking down into the surface beneath you. Observe the motions of the natural breath. Just watch the body breathing in and out. Passively witness the body drawing the breath in during the inhalation and then releasing the breath out during the exhalation. Feel all the various muscles involved in the act of breathing. Now see yourself reclining in an open outdoor setting, 
far away from the lights of the city. As you gently gaze into the night sky, which is studded with stars and planets, you can see the Milky Way streaking across the sky. The constellations of Orion and Pleiades. As well as the North Star, Polaris. see the first rays of the early morning sun. Since the warm red rays of the morning sun rising over the eastern horizon. See the sun as more than a mere physical object, but as an intelligent being, maintaining the life of our solar system. And see an image of yourself showing gratitude towards the sun. Now recall your Sankalpa. If you do not yet have a Sankalpa, that is fine. You can choose any positive affirmation that appeals to you. Repeat your resolution three times silently. Now, become aware to your body. Feel the stability of your body. Become aware to the steadiness and stillness of the right hand.
stillness within the right hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, and fifth finger. The palm of the hand, back of the hand, the right wrist, lower arm, elbow, and upper arm. the right shoulder, armpit, the right side, waist, hip, the right thigh, back of the thigh, right kneecap, back of the knee, shin, calf muscle, right ankle, heel, sole of the right foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third, fourth, and fifth toe, the whole right side of your body, still and steady. Now become aware to the steadiness within the left hand, the left hand thumb, second, third, fourth, and fifth finger palm of the hand, back of the hand, the left wrist, lower arm, elbow, and upper arm, the left shoulder, armpit, left side, waist, and hip, the left thigh, back of the thigh, kneecap, back of the knee, left shin, calf muscle, ankle, and heel, the sole of the left foot. top of the foot, 
left big toe, second, third, fourth, and fifth toe. The whole left side of the body now still and stable. Now bring your awareness to the top of the head, the forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, and the brow center. the right eyelid, left eyelid, the right eye, left eye, the right ear, left ear, the nose, the tip of the nose, the upper lip, lower lip, the right cheek, left cheek, and the chin, the throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest muscle, left chest muscle, and the sternum, abdomen, lower abdomen, groin, and pelvic floor, the whole right leg, whole left leg, both legs together, the whole right arm, whole left arm, both arms together. the front side of the torso, the back, shoulders, neck, and head. your whole body together.
become aware to your whole body from the top of the head to the tips of your fingers and toes. Full body awareness. Now observe the natural flow of the breath at the abdomen. Feel the belly rise and fall with each inhalation and exhalation. Feel the breath expanding the abdomen and then the chest. The breath flows like a wave from the abdomen up to the base of the neck with the inhalation and then back to the abdomen with the exhalation. Continue full deep breathing with the natural pace of the easy breath. Now become aware to the flow of the breath at the nostrils. See the sun located at the right nostril. And the moon located at the left nostril. First breathe in sensitive to the right nostril and the sense of warm solar energy of prana shakti which enters through the right nostril. Now breathe in sensitive to the left nostril and sense the cool and soothing lunar energy of Manas Shakti, which flows through the left nostril. Now 
Now breathe in sensitive to both nostrils flowing together at the same time. The solar and lunar energies combine as fire at the brow center Brumadia. Inhale evenly through both the right and left nostrils and experience a flame of light shining brightly at the brow center where the two breaths merge. Exhale evenly out both nostrils and continue. Check that you are awake and that your whole body is relaxed. Do not strain. Feel the solar and lunar energies merging into a flame of light at the brow center during each inhalation. Every time you breathe in, the flame of light becomes stronger and brighter. Sense the prana building up at the brow center. Now drop the focus on the breath and become aware to the inner space in front of your closed eyes. Experience the vast space of Chittakash, the mental space in front of your closed eyes. And develop the sensation that you are floating in space all around you. There are stars and galaxies. Nebula.
and solar systems. The space of Chittakosh extends as far as you can see in every direction in front and all around you. Now see a constellation of stars forming the Ram of Aries, which is ruled over by the active planet Mars. The athletic Ram of Aries exhibits physical strength ambition, assertiveness, and the ability to achieve your goals. Here, the soul declares, I am. The body part for Aries is the head. The element is fire. And the guna is rajas. The sun is exalted here and Saturn is debilitated. Now see a constellation of stars forming the bowl of Taurus, which is ruled over by the sensual planet Venus. The stubborn but affectionate bull of Taurus exhibits stability and resourcefulness. Here, the soul declares, I have. The body part for Taurus is the face. The element is earth. And the guna is rajas. Moon is exalted here. Now see a constellation of stars forming the twins of Gemini, which is ruled over by the intelligent planet Mercury. The childlike twins of Gemini exhibit communication and technical skills. as well as friendliness and social abilities. Here, 
the soul declares, I know. The body part for Gemini are the hands. The element is air. And the guna is rajas. Now see a constellation of stars forming the Crab of Cancer, which is the only sign ruled over by the maternal moon. The nurturing Crab of Cancer exhibits intuitive abilities, emotional sensitivity, domestic comfort and the joys of family life. Here the soul declares, I feel. The body parts for cancer are the breasts or chest. The element is water and the guna is sattva. Now See a constellation of stars forming the Lion of Leo, which is the only sign ruled over by the paternal sun. The Royal Lion of Leo exhibits dynamism creativity and an outgoing nature. Here the soul declares, I create. The body part for Leo is the heart. The element is fire and the guna is sattva. Now see a constellation of stars forming the Maiden of Virgo, which is ruled over by Mercury. The pragmatic Maiden of Virgo exhibits intellectual and medical skills, hard work, overcoming obstacles, social work, and alleviating the suffering of others. Here the soul declares, I heal. The body part for Virgo are the intestines, 
the element is earth. And the guna is tamas. Mercury is exalted here and Venus is debilitated. Now see a constellation of stars forming the scales of Libra. which is ruled over by Venus. The progressive scales of Libra exhibit relationship and negotiation skills, as well as finding balance. Here, the soul declares, I unite. The body part for Libra are the kidneys. The element is air. And the guna is rajas. Saturn is exalted here, and Sun is debilitated. Now see a constellation of stars forming the Scorpion of Scorpio, which is ruled over by Mars. The secretive Scorpion of Scorpio exhibits magnetic appeal. The mastery over fear, occult knowledge, mysticism and seductiveness. Here the soul declares, I transform. The body part for Scorpio are the genitals. The element is water. And the guna is tamas. Moon is debilitated here. Now see a constellation of stars forming the centaur of Sagittarius, which is ruled over by the benevolent planet Jupiter. The wise centaur of Sagittarius exudes auspiciousness righteousness, philosophical and theosophical knowledge, higher knowledge, and pilgrimage.
here, the soul declares, I illumine. The body part for Sagittarius are the thighs. The element is fire. And the guna is sattva. Now see a constellation of stars forming the sea goat of Capricorn, which is ruled over by the malevolent planet Saturn. The assertive sea goat of Capricorn exudes authority practicality and decisiveness. Here the soul declares, I act. The body part for Capricorn are the knees. The element is earth. And the guna is tamas. Mars is exalted here. and Jupiter is debilitated. Now see a constellation of stars forming the water bearer of Aquarius. which is also ruled over by Saturn. The eccentric water bearer of Aquarius exhibits compassion, humanitarianism, and is scientific. Here, the soul declares, I understand. The body part for Aquarius are the ankles. The element is air. And the guna is Thomas. Now see a constellation of stars forming the fish of Pisces, which are ruled over by Jupiter. The idealistic fish of Pisces exhibits artistic talent, devotion, and spirituality. It is peace-loving and otherworldly. Here, the soul declares, 
I escape. The body part for Pisces are the feet. The element is water. And the guna is sattva. Venus is exalted here and Mercury is debilitated. Now become aware to the seven chakras in your subtle body. Muladhara at the pelvic floor, Swadhisthan at the sacrum, Manipura at the navel, Anahat at the sternum. Vishuddhi at the pit of the throat. Agya at the brow center. And Sahasrar at the crown of the head. Bring your awareness back down to Muladhara at the pelvic floor and see the planet Saturn there. Now move up to Swadhisthan at the sacrum and see Jupiter. Move up to Manipura at the navel and see Mars. Move up to Anahat at the sternum and see Venus. Move up to Vishuddhi at the throat and see Mercury. Move up to Agya at the brow center and see Moon. And finally, move up to Sahasrar at the crown of the head and see sun.
the sun at the crown of the head. Sense the self-effulgent light of the sun radiating outwards in every direction from the crown of your head. See and feel the self-effulgent light of the sun radiating outwards in every direction. The light at the crown of the head is as bright as 10,000 suns. There is only light. pervasive, self-effulgent light. Now again recall your sankalpa, the same exact determined resolution from earlier. Repeat your sankalpa three times with enthusiasm. Now begin to extrovert your awareness back to your physical body and your surrounding environment. Experience the five senses and create a mental image of the room you're lying in.
feel the weight of your body against the ground. Now begin to make very small movements. Gently stretch and open your eyes to end this meditation. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Om Shanti 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 Shanti